I'm sure you've heard someone say at some time, you've got to write a book. Do not die with your story inside you. And our next guest is going to show us exactly how to do that. Anne McIndoo is the author's coach. Mm -hmm. She is the founder of So You Want to Write. And she has spent her life educating and coaching people to get their story out and publish. And she's got a whole program. She's got her magazine, her author's magazine. And Anne, why? Why should people write a book? Well, I love writing stories. I've been writing since I was nine. And people love to tell their story. And so some of my first, well, my very first client was Tony Robbins, and I helped him with his book. And working with him was like in the art, uh, going, to the, going to university in the art of writing a book. Mm -hmm. So I went, and it was fun. And as soon as I finished, other people came up to me and said, hey, yeah. can you help me with my book? Oh, that's a pretty hefty testimonial. Yeah. That is. <laughs> pretty, well, I was wondering, because on the back of this book, we should all order one, it says... It says, where is it? You did an amazing job. Thank you so much, Tony Robbins. And I was like, wait, hold on. The, the Tony Robbins. The Tony Robbins. That's he is incredible. extraordinary. And it was incredible, incredible to learn to, uh, work, you know, to work with him and to see the process of writing a book. And I'd been writing all my life. So when people started coming up, then I started writing. And here we are, 14 years and 1,638 books later. Isn't oh, that amazing? How and many does that equal out to be per week? I do about eight to ten books a month oh. and so there's always people at different stages and sometimes mm -hmm. people have written books in as little as 21 days for as long as seven years. Oh, wow. <laughs> Everybody in their own time. Everybody has and sometimes the author's journey hasn't finished when they started writing their book. They're still writing and they're still in the journey. Mm -hmm. So uh, my books include novels which have been made into movies. Uh, to, um, business books, you know, children's books, any kind of books. My favorite is a legacy book mm -hmm. where you tell your story and you, uh, you know, for your family, for your friends, mm -hmm. for your legacy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, a lot of my business books are people who are professionals and they write their book for their business. Because a business today, in today's world, uh, your book is your business card yeah, now. That's right. It's no longer true. a business card or a website. That's old hat now. That's no, right. but it is a glorified calling card. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, and so yeah, and so that's how I got started. And what do you find to be the true power of writing a book? I mean, what happens to the individual once they write their book? Oh well, there's nothing. There is nothing <laughs> like having your own book when you can say, oh, well, read my book, right? And people just look, they're amazed, you know, mm -hmm. on a personal level, it, it's pretty amazing. It, it's a feeling like no other. Probably, I've never had children, but it's probably like having a child, mm -hmm. a really cool child. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Which you can't guarantee <laughs> even if you do have a that's child. Right, which that's you can right, never guarantee. Right. With a book, you can guarantee it's a very cool thing. <laughs> and on a personal level, on a business level, it puts you head and shoulders above your competition, mm -hmm. a way above your competition. When you have a book, I can't tell you how many times I've heard, you know what, let's hire her. She wrote a book. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know the first time I showed up in the green room with a book, it made all the difference in the world. Yeah. And when people, pe at that time, they used to say, so who here has written a book? And if you could raise your hand, you were the one who got selected. Yeah, Absolutely. that's a big deal. It gives you credibility. That's right. It gives you the expert status. When they see a book, you know, if they're looking to hire someone, whether you're a construction contact contractor, which I've done, mm -hmm. a doctor, a dentist, any professional, when they see your book, they know you know something. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. It does make you the immediate authority. Yes. So how did you come about your process? I mean, how, how do you work with people? I, uh, most people think that it takes a year, 10 years to write a book. Mm -hmm. With me, it could take as little as six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And the process is basically, you talk to me. There's no writing. There's very, very little, if any, writing in my process. In my process, I'll ask you questions, a thousand questions. So tell me, what you're, tell me your story. Tell me what you want to teach. Tell me what you want to share. Talk to me about this. Talk to me about that. And I get it out. Mm -hmm. I record it. And then I create your manuscript. Wow. And then we go back and forth on the editing. And then there's typically two to three rounds mm -hmm. at the end, you know, to make sure all the words are right. And you mm -hmm. like what I said and everything's in the correct sequence. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and then we go to publish. I publish you. I have my own publishing company. And if you like, I'll make you a Amazon number one bestseller. 
and we'll get you online and, and pretty really much take care of you, you out there. Yeah. That's am- that is That's amazing, amazing that you're able to do that. So yeah. are you ready? I'm thinking, I actually think I'm like, am I good enough at anything to write about it? It's you know? funny that you say that because when I first, um, the first time I ever talked about writing a book, I was sitting in my living room with two girlfriends. We were having a lot of Greek food and a lot more wine. <laughs> and then all I remember is waking up in the morning and finding a table of contents on my computer. They had been asking me questions, mm-hmm. and I was talking. They said, you need to write a book. Well, how could, what do I know to write a book? So they asked me questions, and one of my girlfriends took notes, and she left me what essentially turned into my table of contents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And from there, it took six weeks to write the book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So it really is possible, but I love what you're saying about having someone speak their book, mm-hmm. because and to a human. Mm-hmm. It's, mm-hmm. I find it very hard to speak to a recorder yes. or to speak to Google Translate or something mm-hmm. like that. Um, and believe that the information is coming across. Mm -hmm. What I love is that I get to speak to a human who's actually processing the information in a way Mm -hmm. and then bringing it back Mm -hmm. to me in a way I can trust. Mm -hmm. I think there's something really valuable about that because when you, uh, and I've seen experts like you do this before, when you see hear something that's interesting, you go more in that direction. Mm-hmm. Or when you see, hear something that doesn't sound quite right, you can kind of like, mm-hmm. you know, help people kind of just mm-hmm. get back to their main point, you know. And I think that's having that ability that you have is is really a genius and, type and of ability. And that's the magic mm-hmm. because when I say, okay, so tell me about you know, like especially mm-hmm. like for a legacy book, right? Tell me about when you were growing up. Tell me about this. What lesson did you learn? What did you learn from that? What do you do now because of that? How has that affected your life? Mm -hmm. All kinds of really cool questions. And what I'm doing is I'm letting them speak. I'm recording the story. But what I'm looking for are little nuggets. And depending on the type of book they're writing, with those nuggets, I can create a magazine. I can create a book. I can create a, a workbook. I can create product for them because you know, they can sell their book, they can sell their, you know, their system. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Instead of selling your book for 20 bucks, you can sell your book, your tape, and your workbook for $1,000. And mm-hmm. that's what I like to do is make a profitable author. Mm-hmm. And what I love, though, is that this process works, like you say, if you're making a business of it, mm-hmm. or if you're just capturing family recipes mm-hmm. and creating something mm-hmm. that you just want 20 copies of mm-hmm. for your closest friends and family. And that's totally doable. And I've done recipe books for uh, several of my authors mm-hmm. and family reunion books oh, where everybody tells so a story fun. and then we put the pictures in, we, do, we, we publish it, and it's a beautiful gift. And it's a really wonderful family memory. Mm. You guys done this for your grandparents yet? No, but I'm going to. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, great. that's what I'm saying. It's such a great idea. You know, it's funny because my grandma turned 91 <gasps> last week, mm-hmm. and my grandpa will be turning 91 in August, and that would be such a great thing to give them, yeah. mm-hmm. a, like a memories book. A memory oh, book, that would sure. be amazing. That's family memories, absolutely. Such a great, well, and she's great got such idea. a big family, it's like selling it out to the whole country anyway. <laughs> 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 An instant bestseller, all the family members just buy one. Uh-huh. That's true. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. So, Anne, do you do mm-hmm. workshops also? Do you, yes. it's not all private work, is it? Correct, yes, I do uh, private work, so I'll work one-on-one, you know, just me and you if you want to do a book. I also do what I call an author's boot camp. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm having one uh, later this year. And, uh, and you're going to write your book. We're going to publish you, get you on Amazon, make you a bestseller, get your website up, and do any and everything that a for a professional, that for business, right. that you would want to do. Yes. That's amazing. And everybody can find that information at? At my website, which is www.soyouwanttowrite.com. Dot com. Fabulous. We'll Wonderful. put that information on the screen and yes. make sure our viewers get that. Yeah. Do you have another question? I, I feel just like have you so do. many <laughs> questions. I no, I, like I'm do. still trying to, I'm mind blown by the fact that you can do eight to 10 books a month. Yeah. I just think that is absolutely incredible. Mm. And so that gives me a lot of hope that for the rest <laughs> of us, we can maybe do one in our lifetime. Uh, yes, right. yes. <laughs> so yeah. really, if you've ever heard don't die with your story in uh-huh. you. This is the way to get it out. And Mac and Duke, thank you so much for being with us. Oh, you're so welcome. It's wonderful. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Mm-hmm.